Welcome to module 5 session 1. In this particular session, we will be seeing you have to check yourself before being a consultant. So what are the different checks you have to do it so that you can decide whether you should be a consultant tomorrow or not. Why? Because if you are not getting checked yourself, if you enter the field, you will face a lot of problems in the future. We will see one by one. It's, these are also very simple steps that you have to follow so that tomorrow the services whatever you are expecting from the clients will come very easily to you to become you as a consultant okay number one how much you are connected in the society that means how much you are connected to the family members how much you are connected to the friends how much local connections you are having in your city limits okay we will just discuss about these three things first number one family members first and the foremost thing is the family members trust each other more than any other people correct so they are the first people who give the job who will require service from you people so when you become a consultant just be in touch with the family members explain them what exactly you are doing what is your services how you are working what is your working environment how many team members, team members you are having okay what are the different projects you have already handled so you can tell to your family members very easily similarly with friends Okay, more than family members, friends trust you people, correct? So, you, what you can do is, you can explain to them easily in your own words. So, because of this, what happens? You will get the job easily, correct? It is very easy to convey what services you are doing for the family members and friends compared to the new client, okay? So, just be connected with your family members and friends more so that when you start a consultancy, you can just WhatsApp them or you can just put it in the Facebook group where all your uh, friend, family members and friends are there. They'll just see to your consultancy services. They might ask you to get the service done. Okay. Next, local connection in your city limits. Like uh, how much you are connected with other people in your locally. Okay. So if you are very well aware of local people, okay, what exactly the pain points are, like what kind of constructions are going on in the locally what people are expecting locally okay and what local metal materials are available how you can utilize it easily okay all these things come under local connections so if you are having a very good connection with the local people okay it will be easy for you to set up a consultancy so you have to check yourself how many people you know locally okay apart from your friends and family members next member of local civilized civil engineering organization so in most of the places, even in my place, Chikmangur, we are having a civil engineering association of more than 100 engineers. What happens when you become a member of that particular organization or association? You will come to know what exactly is happening in the market, what the people are demanding, correct? You can go to the association meetings and all, you can discuss with the people. So you will come to know what exactly is happening and accordingly you can act, correct? So according to the demand, okay you start giving service to the people so people also will be wanting that one so you are starting a consultancy in that one so what happens you will get the job easily okay next how many times you have gone personally to buy cement steel paint plumbing electric fixture why this is important because when you go to a local shop okay introduce yourself as a consultant okay we are building the residential building what exactly is happening the local people the local shop retail people tell you what exactly is happening with the people, what exactly the people are buying, okay. If they are buying paints from that particular uh, retailer, if you are a consultant who are who is helping people to know how much quantity of paint is required, how to do a, how to do paint for their house economically, effectively, with more durability, so you can be a consultant for painting also, correct. So what you can do, you can tie up with that retailer and you can tell him, yeah, I am specialized in this particular painting job. So you can ask the clients whomever come to you, tell them to come to me, I'll explain them and I'll get you the very good business. So like this, I have given an example like this, you can involve with the local retailers and get the business done. Okay, this is about connectivity. Next, your experience in a particular field. Before going for any consultancy, okay, you should have expertise in any one of the field. At least one field you should have some expertise. Okay, for example, if you are experienced in construction, or building planning estimation approvals government authorities like licensing and all those things structural design and detailing 
plan and 3D elevation, interior design. So if you are having expertise in any one field, for example, if you are expertise in construction field, what you can do, you can start set up a consultancy in construction field first, develop yourself, okay, for few years, maybe one year or two years, then start one by one, one by one, one by one, with by connecting with the other professional people that we are going to discuss in the next step. Connect with other professional people or consultants. So your friends may be in other profession, in civil engineering, you can connect with them. You are already set up a consultancy in construction. Your friend is a structural engineer. What you can tell him? I am getting a huge number of inquiries for structural design. Why can't you work for me? Okay, like as a consultant. Even he will be a consultant or he will be giving service to you. In turn, you will give me service to the, your clients. When your client comes to you and asks you whether you are having structural, structural design, you can proudly tell, confidently you can tell, yes, we are having that particular service. We will get it done. You are not going to do it, but you will be having a person to get it done. Okay, next, so to social media connections. As we have discussed more on this in the previous modules, okay, it's like if you want some consultancy service to be done, which you are not having, what you can do, you can just put a post in LinkedIn, okay. Lot of professional people are available, freelance, they'll work for freelance, they'll contact you, okay. What you can do is, when they contact you, you can just ask, you can go to their profile, you can see their profile, that you have already seen, how to see the profile, what is their experiences, what are the projects they have handled. If you are satisfied with that person, you can contact him and tell him to connect with you for your job. Okay. Or your colleagues also, like previous company you will be working, your colleagues will be there. So you can connect with them also to get your job done. Next, learn from your mistakes. Like as a student, as a student, because of the course curriculum and the time constraint, the teachers will not be having that much time to tell you what is happening practically. Okay, even I am having an experience of 3.5 to 4 years as an assistant professor in one of the college. I was teaching for civil engineering B students and MTech students. Even I could not find time to tell them what exactly is happening practically. Like I could not tell them exactly. Okay, so if I was teaching some subject, I cannot relate that practical importance of it. So these are all the mistakes that happens with the students in the college. Okay, less information about implementation of subject practically. For example, if you are learning surveying, it is very difficult for a survey teacher to tell you where exactly it is practically implemented in the field. Okay, it is implemented in a lot of fields practically which we have already discussed in previous uh, sessions. Okay, those things. Next, no proper guidance about internship with companies. Like in the previous session, you have uh, learned what is the importance of internship. Okay, what happens here in the college is you will be having internship program only in seven semester maybe in six semester vacations or seven semester. So, or you will be a fresh graduate, you will not be getting anywhere internships. Okay, this I am telling with respect to a student. So, what will happen here is, when you are, you are having the vacation, like in between third semester, fourth semester, the teacher or a person whom you will feel as a mentor, go to them, okay, ask them, I want to do an internship. I have studied these many subjects in third semester. With respect to it, I have to do an internship. So with respect to that subject, you can do an internship program, maybe 15 days or one month without getting any paid, nothing to worry. You'll get huge amount of knowledge. Okay. So you will understand, okay, you will understand your capacity for which you have to work in the later stages. You can concentrate on only those subjects in by the end of eighth semester. Okay, the project work, you can take up a project work related to that particular internship work, what you are working from past three to four months, like three to four vacations. Okay, what happens when you are working, when you work on the project work with respect to the internship, what you have carried out, you will become more perfect, you will be more expertise in that particular subject. So when you are out of the college, okay, when you get your degree, it is not required, like you have to go to a company or work there, you are already got some expertise, you can start your consultancy in a small scale, giving services to one or two clients, known people in the family or friends and all. In, the, in a duration of six months to one year, your consultancy level will go to the higher level. Okay, this is how as a student, the mistakes what's are happening, please correct it. Next, self-improvement. So, improve yourself, learn new things which are needed for you. Okay, improve yourself regularly, get updated to whatever the technologies are coming in the market and all those things. Next, seek wiser methods, like switch to other ways. If you are feeling difficulty in learning some subject, okay, and if you want to, if due to some reason you have got an internship in that one, Nothing to worry, do that internship, next vacation, switch to other internship program. Okay, so by doing, by switching these kind of things as a student or as a fresh graduate or as a 
people who are already working in company switching from job which you are not liking it okay if you are expertise in construction field if you are put up in a design field okay it is not you are it's not your uh, job to do it correct you are not expertise or you are not liking that you are not having the confidence of doing it so what you can do you can switch it to the construction field if they are paying less also not a issue work there for 6 months to 1 year then start thinking out thinking how to put up a consultancy okay you will be having the complete freedom of professional as well as financial once you put up the consultancy next the trend just follow the trend what's happening for example if the people are looking for a low cost or a new product or a new kind of technology implementing people kind of consultancy go and follow the trend if the trend is going like that in that way you also go in the same way learn new things implement it and give that values in the social media like instagram reels or uh, linkedin stories and all tell them these kind of services we are giving it when the people are following this trend if you are there in the same trend what happens you will get the job easily so follow the trend check your limitations okay see your limitations on what you can give okay see your limitations for example if you are confined to certain limit if you can do only 3 houses per year don't take the fourth house you cannot give the justice okay you cannot give the quality so limit your uh, capacity okay limit your capacity and execute accordingly then learn from your failures okay failure reasons what are the reasons avoid them okay for example if you are not getting in contract with the client before starting any kind of construction okay so you will be trusting the client and client also will be trusting you till when when that money matter comes in the mid okay when that construction will be going on okay even you will be doing the work putting some money from your hand and all those things due to some one or the other reason client might not give you 100% payment at the end of the construction okay because you have not gone for any kind of uh, agreement or anything with the client so you cannot fly with the client okay so these kind of failures whatever you have faced in your life avoid them when you take up the new projects okay check your limitations first next learning ability know the world okay observe what exactly is happening here to the news okay what what the smart city okay what exactly is smart city concept what the prime minister of india is telling what they have want to implement what cities has been allotted so those kind of news you have to hear it you have to think accordingly okay if they want to implement some services with respect to smart city if you are having consultancy in that particular job you can approach those kind of people government people you can tell them we are having the consultancy we can get that smart city work done okay like this you can do it understand the truth like without knowingly or unknowingly you will assume yourself some of the things which are not true okay so just or read something online okay go to online platform google it check it whether it is true what you are hearing to it okay and the lessons lessons from the others okay some mentors will be there you ask them what exactly the news i am hearing to it whether it is true or not they can guide you properly okay before uh, getting the exact proper news or the truth whatever it is happening don't implement it it will be a disaster then the management so judge and clarify as i told you like you have to manage everything you have to judge the situation properly clarify it before getting into any kind of situation okay if you have got a consultancy job nothing to worry okay the judge the job is there okay it's already there judge it what exactly the client is requiring okay clarify with the clients okay whether you are looking the same kind of consultancy with me or if you want any other information okay if the client is assumed himself that you will give x y z kind of consultancy if you are having only x kind of consultancy tomorrow will create a huge number of huge problem for you people okay then manage different kinds of people or different kinds of clients okay is very difficult all clients will not handle smoothly okay there will be some clients they will be very rude to you they might be due to some other situations with their personal life or their busy schedule they might scold you for small reasons you should be in a position to manage all those things okay just get along go with the flow so by the end of the day you want to get the job done and get your money get your fees that's it so check yourself in all these particular things okay then if you are uh, very confident about yourself we will be discussing how to set up a civil engineering team 
okay to start a consultancy if you are confident with this then check with the next next session wherein we'll be discussing more about setting up a team okay we'll be discussing a lot of things over there you will understand like the opportunities what are there in the civil engineering field okay we'll see in the next session thank you